Hey guys, and welcome to day two of working at DQ. So here's how to make a royal comb. So we're gonna make a small, so you wanna make two bumps on your cone, and then you're gonna finish off with your signature DQ curl. And next you're gonna grab a spoon to make a hole in the middle to make it a royal cone. Just like that. And we chose to make our cone strawberry. So you're gonna add half a ladle of strawberry. And there's also mint, cotton candy, chocolate, and hot dog. Next, you're gonna add a bit of ice cream on top to secure the flavor and dip it in chocolate. You could also dip it in cotton candy if you choose to. And there it goes. Enjoy. As a former Chipotle employee, let me show you how to make Chipotle at home. So in case you didn't know, the Chipotle marinade is literally just adobo paste for both the steak and the chicken. Pop this in the fridge and let the flavor soak in. The only thing extra added to the adobo paste was just some onion. That's not how they do it, but that's how I do it. And I was honestly too lazy to make guacamole and pico de gallo separately because the ingredients are literally the same for both, so I just mixed it together. And don't ask for a recipe for the corn salsa because I don't like it on my bowl and I forgot how to make it. I'm even making the cheese from scratch. Why did no one tell me how easy shredding cheese was? Now you're gonna throw the chicken on the stove and cook it for six minutes on each side. And y'all, there is no secret to the rice. Just add some cilantro and lime once it's done cooking to your taste and then add your Monterey Jack cheese and your toppings. Look at it. It's good. Let's make some Nutella French toast. First, cut the crust off your bread. Then get your Nutella and spread it on your bread. Then make a sandwich. Now cut it in half. Add eggs, milk, and vanilla to a bowl, then whisk. Now dip your sticks in the mixture. Melt some butter and cook both sides until golden. Mix one cup of sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Then coat your French toast. Serve warm and enjoy. Let me tell you about these caramel and chocolate chip cookie bars. So over here on TikTok, I'm kind of known as like the cookie queen. So when somebody asked me if my cookie recipes could be made into bars instead of individual cookies, you know that I had to try it. And I had to try it like that day and I had to conquer it. And when I tell you that these cookie bars will be the best cookie bar you ever make in your entire life, I'm not lying. I took one of my very favorite chocolate chip cookie recipes and made that dough and then I made this super silky smooth caramel by melting down some caramels and sweetened condensed milk to put in the middle. We bake this in a 9x13 pan and I'm just pressing half of the cookie dough in the bottom and then we're going to pour the caramel and spread that around and then top it with the rest of the cookie dough by just placing the remaining on top of that caramel and we bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes and then you have to cool them all the way before you cut them okay cool them trust me but you've got to make them grab the recipe right there Live life every day let it die 
Not okay, all I want and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want And I pray, all I need Here's how I make my everyday ramen It's not my own recipe, but a lot of people have asked me to show it Start with two cups of water I like to use hot and let that come to a rolling boil While you're waiting for that to boil, you can prep your ingredients One tablespoon of butter light brown sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar or four tablespoons. It might look like a lot of brown sugar, but trust me, the soy sauce is really high in salt. You can use any ramen, but just don't use the packet. Now add your noodles, three tablespoons of soy sauce, and then you're gonna need one tablespoon of garlic, or you could put less. Crushed red pepper to taste. I like my noodles pretty soft, so I cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. The sauce takes about three minutes to cook. The time when you want to start the sauce around your noodles. It's done now, and you can add your noodles. You don't want to keep the water from the noodles. And then mix that together, add it into a bowl. I like to add green onion on the top. And now you can enjoy. Let's make the best crispy shrimp ball. Mm. This dish is so addicting and I'm sure you'll want more than one. First, you're going to go ahead and mince your shrimp, add in your seasoning sauces and seasoning ingredients, add some cornstarch, give it a nice mix. And now you're going to get some wonton wrappers, cut them into ribbons. You should get something like this. Get a golf ball sized shrimp ball, coat it in the ribbons and fry until a beautiful crispy golden brown. And you can eat this the way it is or serve with a sweet chili sauce of your choice and enjoy.